Me and my colleagues today are introducing to you the CT equipment overview. So what is computed tomography? Computed tomography is a computerized X-ray imaging procedure in which a narrow beam of X-rays is aimed at a patient and is quickly rotated around the body, producing signals that are processed by the machine's computer to generate cross-sectional images, which are also known as slices of the body. These slices are also called tomographic images and contain more detailed information than conventional X-rays. So as we can see that this is the CT room and no one is allowed to enter except for authorized persons as well as pregnant women should not enter this area. So as you enter the room you can see the CT scan machine. Beside that there are other also available equipment such as the viewing monitor. We can also see the injector that is used to inject the contrast media and saline solutions. We can also see the medication card that has the medications for the contrast media and if any adverse reactions are happening during the procedure. We also have the cardiac monitor to monitor the heart rate and the blood pressure. As we can see here, the storage unit that is used to store any extra pillows, it also has the CT scan machine instructions. Back to the CT machine instrumentation, the most visible part in the unit is the gantry aperture. It's the opening in which the patient is positioned during the procedure as it contains the x-ray tube and the detector. As we can see, that the, here are the laser beams that aids in patient positioning. We have the y-axis, the x-axis, and the z-axis. So, as we can see here, that the laser beams, they meet in the isocenter, as it is shown here. This is the patient couch, or also it is known as the patient table. It contains two immobilization bands, as we can see here, that are used to immobilize and stabilize the patient du during the procedure. Here we have the head supporter. So here we have the buttons that are used for table movement for manual control before the procedure starts, but the movement of the table in between the scans is controlled by the computer. So as we can see here that we can move the table inward and outward before the scan starts. So here is the gantry control panel. These two buttons are for gantry tilting. If you press this button, the gantry tilts inward, as you can see. And if you press the other button, the gantry tilts outward. This button is for moving the patient table down. This button is known as the e-stop reset button. It restores power to the gantry and table. You have the cradle lock release button. It's to freely move the table with your hands. This is the light indicator button. If you press it, you can see the lasers in the gantry. These three buttons are for external landmark, internal landmark, and calibration. And lastly, you have this button. It's known as the microphone or the breathing light demo. If you press it once, it indicates the microphone is on. And if it is pressed twice, breath hold time indicator is switched on. However, these buttons are also used to control the patient table movement. The middle button is used to increase the speed of the movement. If you press it with any of these buttons, for example, with this button, the table moves in very fastly. And if it's pressed with this button, the table moves out even faster. Simultaneously, if it's pressed with this button, the table moves down faster and vice versa.
Here you have these two buttons. This button is for stopping the scan and the next button is for starting the scan. And this is the exposure indicator button. Here is the emergency button. You press it if any emergency is happening during the scan. How are CT scans done? You would probably get a scan at a hospital or radiology clinic. Your doctor might tell you not to eat or drink for a few hours before the procedure. You may also need to wear a hospital gown and remove any metal objects such as jewelry. By doing this, you are ready for the scan test. A radiology technologist will perform the CT scan test. During this test, you will lie on the couch or the table that is inside a large donut shaped CT machine which is the gantry aperture. Immobilizing bands will be applied for you because movement can blur the image. As we can see here that the shoulder band and the head band are applied. As the couch slowly moves through the scanner, the x-ray rotates around your body. It's normal to hear a whizzing or buzzing noise, so you will be asked to stay very still. How long the scan takes will depend on what parts of your body are being examined. It can take anywhere from few minutes to half hour. If the technologist selects one of these options, for example, we have the first option, he asks the scan to start from the brain. If he selects this option, the scan starts from the trunk. If he selects the other option, the scan starts from your neck. After the scanning is done, you are released. In most cases, you will go home the same day.